Hello, I'm speaking to Karay Yenigabus, who is the Vice President of the Nuclear Industry Association of Turkey. Karay, thank you for joining us today. We're here at COP28, we're about halfway through. What are your hopes and expectations for COP28? Gentlemen, firstly, thank you for your invitation. Uh, actually, uh, I see there are two uh, main challenges uh, to achieve our climate uh, target. The first one is finance, and the second one is current mindset. We should change it, actually. So, uh, I expect from these uh, events uh, to overcome the finance issues, actually, because especially embarking industries, embarking countries, need uh, more finance, financial support uh, compared to the uh, developed countries, actually. Uh, so, uh, I would like to see more uh, support for the green uh, energy technology, uh, and I would like to see here some uh, announcement, individual announcement from the um, from the country, um, such as you know China and some uh, announcements regarding to uh, coal power plants. Mm -hmm. It was the uh, last COP27, and the, and the second expectation is about. Um, carbon markets actually mm -hmm. uh, because you know uh, carbon market is one of the uh, most important leverage uh, uh, to achieve our climate targets uh, so but uh, as you know there are several carbon market voluntary carbon market in all over the world but there is no any standards uh, and uh, these uh, carbon market program does not speak each other actually. right so we cannot uh, follow up and track the related reduction projects. Uh, so we cannot nowadays, uh, we cannot uh, avoid uh, the duplication of these projects. So uh, it is, it will be discussed under Article 6.2. And my expectation is uh, figuring out uh, the discussion about uh, art under uh, uh, Article 6.2. Right. Now, you mentioned finance, and that's one challenge already for the nuclear industry. Yeah. Uh, at uh, the COP, we have seen the ministerial declaration and the industry pledge both targeting a tripling of nuclear capacity by 2050. Yeah. What are the major challenges there are for the nuclear industry in achieving that goal? Yeah, actually, I see uh, three major challenges. Uh, in front of the nuclear industry uh, on the way of tripling uh, the nuclear capacity. Uh, the first one is work first. As you know, nuclear, how can I say, nuclear is a little bit conservative industry compared to other. Uh, it's sensible industry and the, because of the danger, danger of nuclear weapon and uh, the workforce is not enough actually. And the second one is supply chain. Again, this reason is the same. Since it's a, a conservative uh, industry, uh, supply chain uh, is not expanded actually. Uh, so uh, we should develop it. Uh, and the third one is unharmonized uh, licensing process uh, uh, regulations and standards. IAEA has some studies on that, but we should prompt it actually. Uh, we need to uh, standardize uh, and harmonize all these licensing process and uh, regulations and the standards to ease uh, all these uh, permission and licensing process. So those are some big global challenges for the nuclear industry uh, and it's going to require us all to work together to overcome those challenges. I wonder, what is it, uh, to conclude uh, with this question, what is it do you think that your association can do to help that process, to help us achieve that global goal? Yeah, uh, actually our association uh, is, uh, is uh, contributes uh, to public acceptance study. We have some studies uh, to increase the awareness of our people about uh, nuclear industry because people have people is afraid, you know, uh, uh, because lack of information. So we have some studies uh, for uh, public acceptance. Secondly, uh, we are trying to contribute to expand the supply chain, our industry, uh, capacity of our, our industry is very capable actually. Uh, so we are looking for some 
to winning projects. Mm-hmm. And we are we are looking, uh, looking for some uh, establishing some joint venture with our uh, global uh, counterpart. And thirdly, um, we are advocating our members by meeting the government to publish uh, some incentives uh, specific to nuclear industry. I'm sure that's going to make a very valuable con- uh, contribution to achieving the net zero tripling goals. So, Koray, thank you very much for joining us today. I thank you.